forbid people say I'm a sick fucker when you spit your ice cream and your lips pucker and it makes you look like a dick sucker. I can see you in the future on a Rush Hour 6 cover falling off of a bridge with Chris Tucker. And hopefully Jin's mother. Your mom's cunt is so huge, it's ridiculous as fuck. Me and P fucked her in the pussy hole at the same time and our dicks didn't even touch. <laughs> Jin, we're from supposedly rolling with crime bosses to now posing with Christ crosses. You're both basically making me quite nauseous. The shape of your face and your eye sockets make it harder for you to race in your rice rockets. When your people go to space, they take rice on the rockets. Don't even try to talk shit. You spend 90% of your time designing fiber optics and the other 10% you're blindfolded catching flies with chopsticks. You don't want to, you don't want to know. You don't want to know how long I can ride this topic. Just hurry up and run my Hyundai's diagnostic before you become my Al-Qaeda hostage. And keep calling me a terrorist. And I will Osama your mama, throw her into a cave, turn her into my slave, and have that fucking filthy hoe raped. And make sure the whole world sees it when I send CNN my videotape. You said some shit about Pacquiao and blah, 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 back and now. But your girl thinks I'm handsome because of my Iraqi brow and the fact I don't have to grab a snack every time I hear a cat meow. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican Jew had sex with a dude and every time it's his turn to rap organics like hey yo hold it down shut the fuck up especially you hey, yo, homie, you don't got no dough don't front you're a broke bum with no funds that's why your bitch is sitting low in the drop giving me slow tongue hey yo if you don't say something soon enough homie I'm gonna die from boredom so while you waiting let me smoke some like Les Schwab when he goes on the dope run hey yo I'll take both of your sisters Fuck them and make them both come and add your mother to the equation and make it a foursome! Oh. Calgary is definitely not the place to go if you want to get inside of a blonde hoe. Cause he's like, HFK, you should come to Calgary, yo. We could like, we could like, drive to Toronto. Ah. The other night, me and Sketch were about to have an orgy with 50 slews, with the tightest cunts and biggest boobs. I was looking around like, wow. And he was like, yeah, your dick is huge. <laughs> you are not a master. I'll slow it down for you because you don't like it faster. My train of thought is like Osama. It's sort of hard to capture. This is uh, Armageddon, the Holocaust, a forgotten chapter. I'll swing with a rusty battle axe and leave your noggin fractured. You could, you better pray to God or call a pastor because you couldn't stop disaster if your whole approach was modeled after a velociraptor. Hey! Now you can say my rhymes are trashy and weak and that I got the wackest of schemes But one thing I want you to actually see is that if you were a real rapper Then you would be stacking some cheese and have millions of fans on their knees Instead of flying all the way from Calgary just to battle a fake rapper like me <laughs> But I don't hate you Mug McNasty, Taliban likes you, in fact we're quite impressed and to be part of our culture, you wouldn't have to earn your stripes for going on Al-Qaeda quest. You wouldn't have to go to war or fight the best. Because you passed your driver's test. In your culture, that counts technically like surviving death. Hey, yo, fuck, fuck the Iron Chef. I'll take his knife and slice his chest and push his pregnant wife down a flight of steps. And be happy just knowing that the baby inside her is trying to fight for breath. After this, I'm taking all of your cash. Then I cut your body in half. Because uh, you're skinny enough to make Somalians laugh. Oh. This the dude that wants my throne? How are you gonna cross my zone when you're so soft you can't even get your bra to moan? Don't ever in your life give me that obnoxious tone. I'll walk to your father's home, catch you while you're on the phone, and stomp your dome. Sock you up and turn your jaw into cobblestone and take your collarbone and snap it in half like a Toblerone. Oh. Oh. I mean, this is the type of failure rhythm I do not condone. This motherfucker tried his whole life, but he never made it like Karl Malone. Oh. <laughs> too sad to envision because the main thing that you lack is ambition and I want to talk to the manager of this place because I want to know who in the fuck let the cook out of the kitchen <laughs> shouldn't you be cooking me and my whole family chicken and maybe some tacos and fries and he's so gay that when I rap he gets lost in my eyes <laughs> If you give this guy a chance, you'll probably sweep your kitchen for every last piece of chicken. You're the Mexican Peter Griffin. Wow. Hey, yo, I'm, 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 I
pounds. Come to Montreal with a flamethrower and burn your house. And you can go ahead and call me fat. But don't your people worship cows? <laughs> your raps are really odd. So don't be fronting like you're a Hindu god. And all I can say is fuck you, Kerpal. I'm the one that kicked your dog. <laughs> You need to take your shit elsewhere! Homie, this ain't La La Land, we living in hell here! I should drag you down to the Acorn PJs, show you the homeless on welfare, then beat your head into the pavement till you appreciate the meaning of paying for healthcare! Oh. Now let's throw eggs at this man now, cause his mother is a damn cow, and I got her cunt so wet that I had to dry it with a sham wow. <laughs> when the country you represent is known for being pathetic and sensitive. Not to mention you're from the land of the tender and generous where all the feminine men you play tennis with look like Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> Fuck you and your medical benefits. Yo, I told his mother to go away because her vagina had an atrocious taste, but I Lady God got that hole for days by using my penis to poker face. <laughs> The Loch Ness, that's just a forgotten myth that's lost in the sea. You don't want to argue with D? Bitch, I grew up doing home invasion, so getting by a lock was never a problem for me. Oh! Plus, I'm a cocky, plus I'm a cocky MC that will unlock your mother's twat and use my cock as a key. Oh! He's mad whack, I'm a genius. My damn raps are the meanest. And you look like Moses, but you magically open your ass crack for a penis. Oh! <laughs> I'm a disaster on the Richter. You don't want to battle with me, mister. I feel like I'm battling the last existing picture of a younger teenage faggot, Little Richard. Yo, yo, yo. Plus, you're in depth to EA Ski. You're in depth to EA Ski. Don't lie, you know it's true. You're like the vowels of the alphabet, because every time you see him, you're like EA. I owe you. Thank you. This guy got butt fucked by one of his buddies. And this tall, skinny goofball used to be in the Power Rangers. He was one of the putties. <laughs> And while you're at it, I got a suggestion. I ain't from Palestine, faggot. Stop with the guessing before I have to give your faggot ass some geography lessons. Fuck him and all of Scotia. I will not let this whack cat win, because I'm the damn champion. And after giving birth to this gigantically retarded man standing, fucking his mom's like throwing a banana down the Grand Canyon. Listen, I took your mom on a prom date. I fucked her in her prostate. The next day I logged on to her mom's face and saw my dick in both of my balls next to Tom's face on her top eight. You know how I could tell he likes a fat-sized dick? Because he's not much into weed, but every time his boys roll a fat-sized spliff, he's like, whoa, whoa, Matt, Kyle, Nick, let me baptize him. <laughs> Stop you of confrontation. This ain't no complication. Before you meet my top replacement, you'll probably meet an honest mason. So leave it up to me. So leave it up to me to stop your facing. I will sock you and leave your body breaking so hard it's making you look like your Harlem shaking. I ripped this dude for practice just to prove his whackness. And with glasses that thick, he should do my taxes. <laughs> Gay clubs, this fool is there. Makeup, this dude will wear. His mom's lunch are prunes and pears with sprinkles of my pubic hair. <laughs> You try to diss me and say I have Persian fam? Hell yeah, I wear a turban, man. I'm from an urban land. You can pass for a neo-Nazi German fan that serves the clan or a Kurdish man from Turkestan. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Yo. Fuck US and their wild economy. This gay fucking guy likes sodomy. But when they took away his computer, he's like, no, my child pornography. I hope you got an explanation ready, because you're going to really need one for this. Hey, yo, when we used to see your videos of you kicking, freezing your whip, we used to get immediately pissed. But now we figured it out, and we're pretty much completely convinced that either you just enjoy sitting in your passenger seat like a bitch, or the other half of your car doesn't even exist. <laughs> you think it's Chip stacking? He was on the show Intervention, where his family begged him to quit rapping. <laughs> What you mean bourbon chicken? His face never been tender. He looks like Shredder escaped from a medical center after having his head in a blender. Uh, he likes to open his crack for a rod. He gets attacked and then robbed. He used to work at the sperm bank and got fired because he drank on the job. Uh,